Hello and welcome everyone. I am Ayaz Afar and today we are diving into a fascinating topic that's incredibly relevant for all Angular enthusiasts out there. We are going to explore how to use a JavaScript library in Angular 17. This tutorial is designed for developers who are eager to enhance their Angular applications with the dynamic capabilities of JavaScript libraries. So whether you are a seasoned pro or just starting out, you are in the right place. Now you might wonder why integrate JavaScript libraries into Angular. Angular itself is a powerful framework but when you combine it with the vast ecosystem of JavaScript libraries, the possibilities are truly endless. From adding complex data visualizations to integrate robust UI applications, JavaScript libraries can significantly boost your app's functionality and user experience. Today, we will not only learn how to integrate these libraries, but also understand how they can transform your Angular projects. So let's get started and unlock the full potential of Angular with JavaScript libraries. Great, now that we understand the value JavaScript libraries bring to Angular, let's set up our working environment. Before we jump into the coding part, there are a few essential tools you need to have installed on your machine. First and foremost, ensure you have the latest version of Node.js installed. Node.js is a crucial as it comes with NPM, which we will use to manage our project's dependencies. Next, we need the Angular CLI, the command line interface for Angular. This tool is vital for creating new projects, generating application and library code, and performing a variety of ongoing development task. Remember, we are focusing on Angular 17, so make sure your Angular CLI is updated to the latest version to follow along without any hitches. Now let's create a new Angular project. So for that, open your terminal or command prompt and type this command ng new project name and press enter. So this command will scaffold a new Angular application named your project name. The CLI will prompt you with a few questions about the features you want in your Angular application. For this tutorial, you can go with the default settings. Once the process completes, you will have a new new directory with the name whatever you have set in your project name with the basic Angular project structure. And there you have it. We have successfully set up a new Angular project. In the next section, we will dive into choosing the right JavaScript library for our project and integrating it seamlessly. So stay tuned. All right, we have got our application. All right, we have got our Angular project set up. Now comes an exciting part, selecting a JavaScript library that best fits our project's need. With a plethora of libraries out there, it's important to choose one that aligns with the functionality you aim to implement. Are you looking to enhance UI components, manage states, or perhaps visualize data? Your project's requirement will guide this decision. For our tutorial, let's say we want to add dynamic data visualization. So we will go with the popular choice like chart.js. Once you have chosen your library, the next step is to install it. For this, we use npm or yarn. I will use npm in this example. So just open your terminal or command prompt and navigate to your project's root directory and run this command as I am running in this terminal. npm install chart.js dash dash save. Press enter and this would install it. All right, this command installs chart.js and adds it to our project dependencies. So wait for the installation to complete and we are ready for the next step. Now let's integrate chart.js into our Angular project. We do this by importing it into the component or module where we want to use it. So let's say we are working on a component called app.component and in the TypeScript file of this component, we will import the chart.js like this. Okay. So with this import statement, chart.js is now available for use within our app component. We can now create charts and graphs utilizing the library's functionality, which we will cover in the detail in the upcoming section. All right. We have successfully chosen installed and imported a JavaScript library into our Angular project. In the next part of our tutorial, we will delve into actually using chart.js to bring the data visualization to life. So stick around, it's going to get even more interesting. Now that we have integrated chart.js into our Angular projects, it's time to put it to use in a real world scenario. Let's imagine we are building an application that needs to display sales data in dynamic, easy to understand format. What better way to do this than with interactive charts? 
We will create a component in Angular that uses chart.js to visualize this sales data. First, we need to build our component. So let's create one named sales chart. So let me run the command for that ng generate component sales chart press enter so in angular we can quickly generate a new component using the angular cla like we did this this way so just type this command in your terminal and it will create a new component so this command creates a new component with all necessary files now let's jump into the typescript file of the sales chart component and start coding so here is how we can set up our chart First, we need to import the chart from chart.js as we did earlier. Then we will define a method to initialize our chart. So let's dive into the code. Now, first of all, I will define a property chart any. And now let's define, let's implement the on init. And here I will use this dot chart is equal to new chart and give it the name that we are going to target. And then you will have an object. So in this object, you can pass the options. All right, now we need to import this component in our standalone component that is app.component in our case. Now let's include that component in the HTML of app component. All right, you can see that chart is working perfectly fine. So with the canvas in place, chart.js has somewhere to draw the chart. Now you can see that it is currently functional in our browser. So you saw that how we have added the data set to configure the chart. All right, so this is just a tip of the iceberg when it comes to what you can do with the chart.js and angular now that we have successfully integrated a javascript library and created a dynamic chart let's talk about some advanced tips and best practices these are crucial for ensuring your application is not only functional but also efficient and maintainable so first up performance considerations Integrating JavaScript libraries into Angular can be powerful, but it can also impact your Angular application's performance. It's essential to be mindful of the library's size and its impact on load times. Optimize performance by only importing the modules or components you need. For instance, with chart.js, instead of importing the entire library, you can import only the specific chart types you are using. This approach reduces the overall sizes of your bundle, so making your application faster and more responsive. Next, let's talk about maintainability. When using external libraries, your code can quickly become complex and hard to manage. To avoid this, keep your library related code modular. Wrap it in Angular services or components that abstract the library's functionality. This way, if you ever need to replace the library, you won't have to rewrite the large portion of your code base. Also, make sure to comment your code extensively, especially the parts where you integrate the library. This helps others and your future 
future self understand why and how the library is used in your project lastly version compatibility is the key always ensure that the version of angular and your javascript library are compatible incompatible versions can lead to unexpected bugs and issues regularly check for updates and read the release notes for both angular and the libraries you use staying up to date helps in leveraging the latest features and performance improvements while avoiding compatibility pitfalls by keeping these advanced tips in mind you can significantly enhance your application's performance maintainability and stability in our next section we will look at the troubleshooting common issues so you are well equipped to handle any challenges that come your way as we near the end of our tutorial it's important to address a crucial aspect of any development process that is troubleshooting even the most experienced developers encounter issues especially when integrating external libraries into angular projects so let's go over some common errors you might face and how to eff effectively debug them one common issue is the library not found error this usually happens when the library isn't correctly installed or imported double check your installation commands and import statements remember the way you import a library can vary based on this structure on its structure and export format another frequent challenge is the version mismatch error where the library and angular versions are incompatible to resolve this ensure both your angular version and the library are up to date and compatible with each other consulting the library's documentation and angular's update guide can be immensely helpful Regarding the debugging, the Angular developer tools for your browser are an invaluable resource. So they allow you to inspect your Angular components and modules, which can be particularly useful when diagnosing issues related to the library integration. Additionally, don't overlook the power of console logging. Strategic console.log statement can help track down where and why an error is occurring. Lastly, if you are struggling with the specific error or behavior, the Angular community is the great resource. Platforms like Stack Overflow, GitHub, and Angular forums are full of experienced developers who might have faced and solved similar issues. Remember, encountering issues is a normal part of of development especially when working with something as dynamic as angular and javascript libraries with these troubleshooting tips you will be well equipped to tackle any challenge that come your way as we wrap up this tutorial let's quickly recap what we have covered we started by setting up our angular environment and choosing a javascript library that fits our project's needs we then dove into integrating and utilizing chart.js in our angular application for dynamic data visualization along the way we discussed best practices for performance maintainability and version compatibility and we rounded off with some essential troubleshooting tips i encourage you all to experiment further the world of javascript libraries is vast and varied offering endless possibilities to enhance your angular applications so try integrating different libraries explore their unique features and see how they can solve the specific problems or add value to your projects. If you found this tutorial helpful then please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification to stay updated on the future tutorials. Your support means a lot and helps us to create more content like this. Feel free to share this video with friends or colleagues who might find it useful as well. Thank you so much for watching. I am Ayaz Zafar and it's been a pleasure guiding you through integrating JavaScript libraries into Angular. Stay tuned for our next Angular tutorial. Until next time, happy coding.